So this is Video AI for Lesson 46. And in this lesson, we're trying to use Excel to, in order to calculate a value of R squared. And this R squared value is known as the coefficient of determination. And we're using it to object, objectively assess how well the model matches the trend of a given data set. So suppose we have this data set of uh, 12 students. And we happen to know for these 12 students, these tweet, uh, 12 MA103 students, how many hours they spent studying for the last WPR, and we happen to know their score for their WPR. Well, from this, I want to create a, I created a line to pass through this data, and I want to measure how well the line uh, actually fits this data. So, the parameters for my line or my y hat is uh, an a value of four, a slope of four, and a y intercept of 70. So, I'm going to use those parameters to create my predicted scores. This equals this a value. I'm going to put dollar signs in to keep that from changing as I drag this down. And then uh, multiply that by my x values. And then add a d value. And again, I want to put these dollar signs in to keep this from changing as I scroll this down. And I'm going to drag this down. So based on my line, these are, these are the WPR scores I would have predicted for each of these 12 students. Now, let's see how well this line actually fits the data. So I'm going to actually insert a chart, insert a plot right here about, and I'm going to change the chart just a little bit in order for, I'm going to get rid of the legend, it doesn't give us any data here, and then I'm actually going to change these red dots into a line by changing the series chart type, and I'm just going to select this one with a line. So here's what I have. So I have uh, the blue dots representing the WPR2 scores for how many hours a student spe spent studying, and this red line is my prediction of what I would have said their WPR2 scores would have been. Now, as far as an eyeball test, I'd say that that fits the data fairly well. It seems like the, there are an even number, an even magnitude of numbers or of uh, data points above and below this line. But to have a really good way of assessing how well it fits, I need to measure this R squared value. And in order to get that value, I need to calculate the sum of square errors and sum of square totals. So let me look at sum of square errors first. Now, this predicted score we had here, this is what we're going to call y hat. So this y hat minus the actual WPR2 score and I'm going to square that for each one of these 12 students as i equals 1 to n, which n is 12 in our case. So this equals the uh, predicted scores, or the y hat value, minus the actual scores, or the y value, for each one of these cadets. And I'm going to square that. And as you can see right above here is my equation that I'm using in Excel for, to find these values. So I'm going to do this for each of these 12 students, drag that down, and I want to add, that, add up each of those scores. I'm going to put that over here. So this equals the sum of students 1 through 12 of these aired squares. Now these actually just measure the vertical distance from the line to the point, and then we square that distance. So we look here at the point 1 we see that the, distant, the difference is 4, that the actual data point is 4 uh, units above where my predicted value is, and I square that and I get an a error square value of 16. So that's what that, each of those numbers represent, is how far vertically are our data points from the line, and we take that distance and we square it. Now similarly, we're going to have to do this for the total square, and uh, the total square is we have this y bar value, which is our mean score. And the y bar is just going to equal the average of our actual WPR2 scores. In this case, it's 183.833. And maybe I'll put this over here on the, on the graph, just so you can see where this value lies. So the mean score for the WPR is 183.3, and now this total total error squared is going to be the vertical distance from each of these data points to this blue line, and we're going to square the distance of each of those. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. This equals this value, and again I'm going to put the dollar signs in to lock it in, 
minus the actual WPR2 score. And again, I'm going to square that. Again, the uh, equation is just above this. And I'm going to scroll that down. And I'm going to add for all of our 12 students those values here. And now I have every piece of information I need to calculate R squared. So this equals this equation here. 1 minus the sum of squared errors divided by the sum of squared totals. And I get a 0.87. Now, R squared is on the interval from 0 to 1, 1 being the best and 0 the worst. So this is actually a fairly good fit. And sometimes you can't get uh, all the way to a 0 or a 1, but it just measures how much variance there is, how much variance is accounted for by the line we chose to model this data. So let's see if I change the parameter, if I could improve my score for R squared. So let's say my intercept, I change it from 70 to 60. We see that the values dropped a little bit. So I would interpret that to say that the, the 60 is a worse intercept value than 70 was. So I'm going to change this back. And it seems that 70, again, is, is a slightly better fit than changing that value for 60.